Hey guys, I'm Camille and welcome to my Camille Yogi channel. So currently I'm in Queenstown in beautiful New Zealand, but originally I'm from Lithuania. And through my channel we go through classes uh, step by step. So if you will follow them weekly, you will go from the basics up to the more advanced classes. So you sh if you are new to aerial yoga, just try to start from the lesson one or two, that you get more detailed poses how to get into them. Because later on, we will just uh, continue calling them by the name and not concentrating more on the details. So please follow my and subscribe to my channel for more of the aerial yoga classes to improve uh, your skills to improve your practice, deepening it, and let's go to the soul. So, my dearest Aerial Yogis, in today's class, we're gonna cover neck area and shoulder line. Since I received some requests uh, to make a class for my neck. So sometimes we may be hunched up during work or stress out and that's why creating some tensions and pressure in that area. So let's start the class. So if you're not sure how to do embryo pose, just check the video up above. There's a whole video just about embryo going through in detail, so it will be clear for you. Uh, but for now, we will continue and just meeting in the final embryo position. And just straighten your back, relax your arms, relax your head, either back of the silk or either in front with your forehead. Pressing into the fabric, whichever is good for you. And um, slowly we're getting into the stillness, closing your eyes, releasing your facial muscles on jaw, shoulders. And for a moment, let's just notice our breath. Nothing particularly that you need to do, just notice how the air comes in and out, consciously feeling the air, the stream moving, starting from your nose and going inside the body into the lungs and out backwards into the space. So a few more moments, just breathing deeply will 
awareness consciously. Last breath in and out. And slowly open your legs wide as a star and reach up with your hands over your head. Just stretch a little bit. Feet flex so heels pressing into the silk. And one more time, inhale and exhaling bending to your right side towards the right leg, looking up to the ceiling, inhaling, coming up, exhaling, bending towards the left side, and inhaling, coming up, and reaching through your hands towards the right, with the upper arm reaching towards the space or wall, inhaling up, exhaling the other side, and feel the stretch through your side muscles, the rib cage, and your back. Keep going with this motion together along through your breath. And uh, the lower hand always reaches either the shin, either the toes, whichever is available for your body at this moment. But don't pressure yourself with just starting a class, just awakening your body and keep opening your legs, your hips actively. So last time each side. And let's meet in the middle. Take your feet out of the silk. So just slide your silk under the knees and grab a silk in front of you and we'll do a cat cow. So exhaling and push your pencil forward Putting your legs together, extending them into the front and lift up from your core muscles, from your center. Inhaling and bending your knees, opening through your hips and arching your chest, presses into the silk and looking up. Exhaling, curling and rounding your back into a little hold while the legs extend. Inhaling and opening through your hips and front body. And again, exhaling, curling, and rounding your back. Inhaling, opening your chest, your collarbones, your neck. So today we're emphasizing neck area. So now feel how the neck lengthens when you open in your chest and arch. And then again, how the neck bends through and chin, trying to touch your chest, your collarbones. Again, inhaling and opening, exhaling and rounding. A few more times. And let's keep pushing my silk forward. So now we're turning towards me. So bring my left, whichever was the one you turned around. And now face me. And sitting comfortably, we go to the spinal twist, spiral movement that again concentrating on twisting our neck. So inhaling, reaching up, and exhale, turn to your left side, open your arms, and the right arm presses into the left knee while the left arm bends through the elbow behind your pelvis. And lengthen through, inhale. And exhale, twist and look behind your back, behind your shoulder, as far further you can with your eyesight to the corner behind you. So the side, eyesight finishes the spiral. You can close your eyes if you want. Just feel how the spine twists, especially through the shoulders and neck, as much as you can. So keep pushing through the arms but you can open up more. Just forward, left shoulder back. Keep breathing. One more time, inhale, exhale. And breathing in, both arms up in the middle, exhaling, turning to the opposite side. And now just press with your left palm from your right knee. 
Inhaling and lengthening, exhaling, twisting, and looking now behind the right shoulder. As much as you can. Open close eyes. So feel the neck, feel the spiral going through the spine. Keep breathing deeply, softly. One more time, inhale, exhale, and inhaling, coming up, exhaling, grabbing the soap, and let's stand up. So now bring the soap just in front of you. And we will do a little bit opening for the chest, still stretching the neck. So the silk is wide and just put your chest into it. But check that your silk won't cover your belly, otherwise it will press too much, you won't feel comfortable. So just wear that more uh, chest R and the ribcage. Okay, and now from here, just bend your knees and legs and hips apart. Bring your palms together and inhaling, pushing from your toes forward into one straight line and to this kind of standing plank. So hold your belly, hold your buttocks, glutes. Everything is strong in one straight line. Looking forward, don't relax the head. We want to strengthen and lengthen neck, arms by your ears. One more time, inhale here. And exhale, bending your knees, and now we're leaning backwards and opening the chest, hands behind your head. So now just check that your hips would still push forward. If you feel too much compression on your lower back, you can always just bend your knees. But uh, notice if you're leaning too much, then in that way you might slide up a some. So try to push forward and bring your weight towards your toes. So here we're opening the chest, opening the neck, lengthen and stretching it. So we're doing this now dynamically from uh, first pose in this pose. So inhaling, bending your knees and leaning forward into the reaching pose and exhaling, opening the chest and neck into leaning back and uh, holding your neck, your head. And inhaling, reaching forward and one through line and exhale, opening up hips forward, still holding a pose from your legs, and a few more times, inhaling forward, and exhale, open up, and one last time, inhaling and forward, and exhaling, leaning back, and let's stay in this pose for a while, you can leave your arms as they are, or you can just relax them and open and release your head all the way. But if you feel too much pressure on your neck or uncomfortable feeling and dizziness, you can always again hold your head from here. And while you are in this pose, we're going a little bit at swinging from side to side. Again, if you don't want to, you can just stay in a stationary pose. So just always listen to your body what it feels at this moment. Good. And keep pushing from the hips forward. And let's meet in the center. Grabbing your silk, inhaling, coming up, and exhaling with that forward and curling our back to a little bit contra pose. So just again, spread the silk a little bit wider and just let the whole body just drip down. Relax your pelvis, you don't need to hold anything. Everything is just hanging or off the silk. Relax your arms, your belly. And again, if you want, you can just uh, bring your weight from side to side or drawing in circles. Just relaxing the body. So neck, your face. Slowly meeting in the middle. And from here we're going all the way down into 
Uttanasana or Yogi Squat. So now just open your feet 45 degrees and feet can be wider than your hips. And then slowly slide down, take the silk and bring it behind your neck. So before we go to the pose, what is very important that you make sure that the silk is under the base of the skull, not on the neck, more up. So just fix it a little bit more up than you think it should be and it should go through your ears. So just so uh, that we won't press uh, too much into the neck, um, into the nerves. So we're keeping safe and comfortable. So now I'm still holding myself a little bit push away that you will put your heels and press into the ground. And uh, still open 45 degrees angle and then slowly bring your hips down, pelvis down into the squat. Now in here, what you need to do is press backwards through your head, through your neck muscles. And then you can open your arms wide and leave them on your knees, or you can put your hands into prayer or Anjali Mudra next to your heart. And if it's possible, you can put your elbows from inside of the thighs and push a little bit, but you can open it more for the hips. And also in this pose, you're releasing lower back as well as most importantly now for this uh, class is neck. We not only stretching it, but also strengthening it. So close your eyes, feel the openness, the space through the lower back and hips. Again, a little bit shift your weight from your foot to the foot. Keep pushing through the sill backwards. One more breath in and out. And inhaling, ramming a silk to a little bit relax the neck, but because it worked a lot, you will feel it. Just sit across that simple way and a little bit just relax the head, chin to the chest, still holding the silk. A little bit just turning your chin, releasing that strong pose, releasing the tension from the neck. And inhaling, bring your head up, grab a silk, feet in front of you, walking back to in standing pose, and silk behind your back on your shoulders. So now we're gonna go to wheel pose, while the silk will help us to do the, this kind of intense pose in a little bit simpler way. So keep your feet, hips apart, and toes a little bit inwards. So why are we doing this? Because when we're leaning backwards, the wheel pose will look like this. So when we're leaning backwards, our, uh, our feet tend to open up so that they won't open too much and we won't press too much pressure into the kneecaps, into the knee joint. So let's start a little bit inwards. And first of all, we will hold the silk and then if you want, you can release it. So step by step, inhaling here and exhaling, bending your knees, pushing the pelvis forward and leaning back into the silk. Relax your neck, don't be afraid. The silk is holding you. Now, first of all, what you need to do is activate your glutes and buttocks and lift your hips up as much as you can. Feel the openness through your chest. While the neck releases and try not to hold it looking into the ceiling, but opposite, we're looking towards the ground as much as we can, of course. And if you're feeling quite okay and you want to deepen your pose, then also release your arms as if we uh, prolonging our half circle, just relax your head, close your eyes if you wish, and keep breathing. So legs are strong, feel the arch, last breath in and out, and 
turn around the silk. Split arms. Inhaling, coming up. And we do a quarter pose. So exhaling, just go through the gaps of your silk forward and bending into this ragdoll variation. Spending palm side to side. The weight is still in your heels. And slowly round back and coming up into the standing position. So silk in front of you. First of all, what we need to do is bring your right foot into a silk, hands over your head and press through your left leg to come all the way down up. And then turn your right hip forward and uh, lean into the right side of the silk. Bring your right arm over into the front, but the silk would be just behind your shoulder. And hold it over your head, or next to your ear. So in this way, we're turning all the way to the left side. Now push the silk through your left arm and uh, press through your left uh, foot into the silk as well. So now we're moving to the L-shaped pose from where we will do our flying fish. So both hands away ahead and slide through your hips down while the foot comes, while the feet comes up and you will end up in this 90 degree pose. So the silk should go along your spine all the way and keep pressing through the heels, through the feet into the silk. And that will be creating this opposite direction uh, pressure and we can hold uh, with a body like that without holding actually with our heads. But we will come back to this balancing pose and now we'll go to the fishing, uh, firing fish uh, asana. So um, let's take this as we do two times for both sides. So first of all let's say our left leg is on top of the right one so that means we will press into the left shoulder so next to you, the silk should be next to your left ear both palms up as high as you can and hold it firmly and then we're gonna lift our hips up arch and a little bit slide from your sh left shoulder backward the goal is that we will can see the ground so try to arch as much as you can, lift up through your chest, through the hips, the legs are strong and straight. Feel the opening and lengthening through your neck, the front of the neck, throat, arches, stretches, keep breathing. And don't worry if you can't arch all the way, just but in whichever pose you are, it's all good. Every body is different and unique. So light breath in and breathe it out. Coming back into that L shape. So a little bit perhaps you will need to lift up through the hips. So now again, just make sure that you're pressing through the back and through the feet. Press with your back of the head also into the silk and if you don't feel yet comfortable you can always just hold with your one arm but if it's okay you can release both arms just trust the silk and always feel this on the side direction movement you want to relax your hands opening the shoulders just mm -hmm. feel free to do whatever you would like, play around, or just be static and calm as if meditation, short meditation. You can close also your eyes. Silk again over the head and change sides. So now scooch your left foot under the right one, and this time we will bring our uh, 
the silk just next to the right ear, so over the right shoulder. Holding yourself firmly and lifting through the hips, through the chest, arching and sliding through the shoulder backwards as much as we can, even if it's just a little bit. So hold your legs straight, extend it, and notice the sensation in your pelvis. You should feel how it looks active. And also, what's important in this last is that the length and stretching through the front of your neck. Looking down. Last breath in. And out. Slowly coming back. This time, when you bend your knees, just leave them bent because we will do the balancing in the cross leg position also asana so whichever arm doesn't matter just take a silk in front of you push it forward but you could uh, cross your ankles through the silk all the way and we would do the same kind of thing what we did before in l shape just for starting cross leg so again pressing through your back of the head the, the spine back and you can hold the silk in front of you with both arms. You can relax them all the way, just hanging them loose. Whichever you feel is nice for you to be into. And also you can always make more challenge by closing your eyes. Feel the breath and the silk. under the buttocks, not all the way to the knees, opposite, the maximum into the middle of the thigh. So just covering your pelvis and uh, also the hard edges, the separate edges should be also under the pelvis, not next to your back, otherwise it would be too much pressure. So holding your silk just over the hips, leaning backwards, opening your legs and wrapping around. Kind of scared to do this pose, need more uh, time. You can also just start from the my lesson one where we doing this in slowly and in detail. But for now, let's relax in here, arms wide, relax your head. It can be into silk or pressing the soles, everything else is released. Just check if you're not holding too much tension through the groins, in the groins. Just relax your hips, let them, the knees open. Relax your belly. Feel how the ribcage expands. Relax the upper body, upper back. Just perhaps shake your head from side to side. Again, feel the neck as if the head is hanging on the fret. So loose and free. And get deeper into the pose. You can close your eyes. Feel the lightness. The silk simply holds you.
lifting your belly, take this look in between your shins and thighs, opening your legs and coming up into seated position, just not all the way, curl into little ball, so nose towards the knees, head down, just so that you won't get dizzy, and we would harmonize, balance our body slowly. Just a few more moments in here. All right. And now we move to more challenging pose. Uh, it will be candle pose or shoulder stand. So as you're sitting in a halfway sill, just leave it as it is and bring yourself just all the way over the shoulders up to the neck, up to your head and uh, bring your knees towards your chest into this little ball. So, what is the most important thing that you should do? Just make sure that the silk really covers your shoulders because we will stand on our shoulders. So otherwise you might slip out. So be careful. Make sure 100% that everything is safe. And now uh, this will be kind of intense pose for the neck and shoulder line. And so if you feel uncomfortable, the blood pressure and stuff, just always can relax anytime you want to get out of a pose. So just listen to yourself, listen to your body. Okay, so take the sides of the silk all the way through the whole width. Uh, feet pressing from inside into the silk, through the edges of the foot and feet flex on toes towards you. And from here we're moving on, moving up, sliding through your feet and hips forward, chest opens, shoulders a little bit down. So don't be afraid, just if you feel that you're curling and you're putting too much pressure on your back, so just trust the silk and try to straighten the whole body. Now if it's too much stretch, stress on your neck, just move your head from side to side and the silk a little bit slides down from the neck and up to, uh, onto the shoulders. So just a little bit um, getting comfortable in here. So keep your body straight through your spine, through your legs, keep pressing firmly through your feet into the silk and don't forget to breathe. Just a few more moments. And uh, slowly bend your knees and slide down. There are two possible ways to relax. Or maybe you will pick up the first one. But um, as I do, with my students, we usually either you can just leave your legs and wrap around and just hold your head looking forward and just relaxing in here, keeping pressure up your neck. Or uh, while holding the one arm, the other arm just takes the silk out of the back. And then you can put your pelvis in and then you're coming back into this little ball, child's pose. Also holding your head, just again stretching different direction here. So just relax a bit in here. And we're gonna repeat the pose. So again, make sure that your shoulders are covered and take the sides all the way. Feet inside, flex and stretching up into one straight line. Just fix it through your neck and be comfortable. And from this time, we're gonna add more balance. Of course, if you feel that this pose is already challenging enough, you can just stay in the pose that we are now. Or as an adder, you can take one of the legs out into the middle. Just feel that you're starting to hold the pose yourself from your deep inner muscles, from your core. And uh, just changing leg from side to side, maybe perhaps holding five seconds each. Or if you're getting off comfortable enough of this, you can straight away just put your feet together without touching yourself. And 
trying to keep that line and still breathing. This, this pose is quite intense. So two more breaths. And again, let's press into the silk and coming back into the child or wrapping around, whichever you prefer. Just lift your head to take out the pressure from your neck. the sun will add cloud pose dynamically with a candle so again shoulders covered feet actively pressing into the silk and coming up and from here on the two variations first variation if your legs are still pressed into the silk you would just slide down bending your knees and extend your legs in front of you with the heels forward so thighs as close as to your chest as it can be and then again you will press it into the silk and straighten up the more challenging variation would be if you're already holding your legs together and balancing uh, in candle pose then without touching the silk you just bending through your hips for pelvis or straight legs down and to plow and inhaling all the way coming up without again touching the silk so whichever variation suits you at this moment just keep on going we'll do five times and to the plow so exhaling down inhaling coming up on the easier variation for sliding and then extending so just two more times the last one and let's stay meet in a flat pose and then let's go all the way down with the feet on the ground through half lift and from here don't let go of the sill I will turn to you but it will be more clear for you and just a bit a little lift through your shoulders and hands going all the way to the front sliding through the silk and then just bend your elbows the legs wide with the hips width or wider and just swing from side to side just we would go slowly and not all the way up as of an intense pose and blood pressure but it normalize gently and then just bend your knees and we will go into the kneeling pose on a mat so now let go of your silk and spread it wide and because we had it bent so we need one layer and the last pose what we will do is turbine so we will put the whole head into the silk first of all just walk with your knees forward in front of the mat and the vessel would be just behind you and put everything that is over your neck so your ears your hair and then leaning backwards into the silk relax your shoulders your arms uh, your palms can be either on your thighs or on the ground whichever is more comfortable and try to release uh, all the muscles in your abdominal area so your core and just let the whole body just drip down and sink into the silk through your so in here we're massaging our uh, neck muscles as well as head muscles where it's connecting to the skull. You can swing from side to side, close your eyes if you want. And coming back in the middle if you are swinging inhaling reaching up grabbing the sun and sitting up into with a straight back and uh, just a little bit releasing the neck from side to side 
chin brushing through the collarbones, half circles. All right, and we come towards the end of the class. So the last of the last poses, the, the most exciting one is Shavasana. So let's meet in cocoon. You can check out again the video above uh, if you're not sure how to flip into the, into the soul. Uh, but for now, let's meet inside. So as now we are moving into this uh, relaxation after this intense neck stretching and strengthening class. Now just relax, release all the muscles, let the body just drip down into the silk, into the space. Check through if you are comfortable, your arms crossed over your chest. Legs can be straight, can be bent into sleeping butterflies. So. Make sure that you are comfortable in whichever pose you choose. And let's scan the body from bottom towards the top. So relax your toes, feet, ankles. Release your shins, knees, thighs. Soften your hips and pelvis. Whole abdominal area and chest. Just go through your back, your spine, from lower back up to the upper back, shoulders. Relax your palms, arms, and your neck. Release your jaw and all facial muscles. So now the whole body is completely relaxing. Relax your mind. Let the thoughts just drift away. Stay in this moment as a moment for you. As if the time has stopped.
going back on a mat, sitting in a comfortable position, so either for a flip or just in a simple way. So sit comfortably on your mat. Uh, if you feel too much tension on your lower back, just grab a block or a pillow or a cushion just to put it under your pelvis and sit tall. Just drop your shoulders, close your eyes. Your hands can be on your knees. And uh, bringing our awareness to the breath. Feeling how the air comes into the body and out. Just notice how you feel at this moment, rather in the beginning of the class, what's different. With each breath up, Imagine how the body just loosen up and sinks into the ground. Now all the tension comes out of your neck area from your shoulders. We're getting each breath out lighter. not only physically but mentally and then uh, inhaling reaching up with your arms over your head exhaling palms next to your heart and then here we're gonna finish our class so thank you guys namaste hope you enjoyed this class for neck releasing and all the tensions so just loosen up through upper body so if you want more classes early yoga classes just follow subscribe to my kami yoga channel and for the will also receive weekly updates with early yoga classes, different uh, levels and uh, various things to cover it. So hope you're enjoying this video, have a good day and see you soon guys. Bye!